Libras, welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It is time for April's reading. I am going to be shuffling these uh, universe cards. We're going to pull out a word of advice from the universe before we get started on your tarot card reading. And then after the tarot card reading, we are going to pull out a guardian angel and spirit guide card for either more advice or just something it may or may not have to do with the reading. Neither one of these. These are just cards of that you, the universe, uh, want you to know it's for most of you. It won't be for all of you. One or the two or both. You just have to figure that one out on your own. They're lovely cards with great insights to how to move forward. And here we go. For Libras, we are going to pull out a card here for you from the universe. From the universe, please. It's right here. This is card 31. So it says, I want continual joyous growth. So I'm going to read the back to you. Let you know what they're talking about. I am a growth-seeking being, and it is exhilarating to remember that expansion is not only natural, but inevitable. I love knowing that joy is simply a choice. So since my expansion is inevitable, I choose to have it in joy. So this is a great word of advice. Um, yes, you're going to be expanding in life. And, and if you have a choice, and you do have a choice, how to do that, do it in joy, for sure. Find the joy. All right. Okay. So we're going to do your tarot card reading now. If any of these cards fall out while I'm shuffling them, I'm putting them back in the deck until I'm ready for them to come out because they're so slippery and glossy. So just we'll just get them shuffled here for a minute for Libras. For April. Please, universe. Libras April reading. Please let Libras know what they need to know. Give us the cards. Libra, one more shuffle. Give us the cards for Libra, please. Okay. Let's get this done. Here we go. For Libra's universe. What do they need to know? What's coming up? Ooh. What's coming up? What's leaving in Libra's lies? What do they need to know? Any insight? Whatever it is they need to know, please give us the cards so I can relay that message, please, for Libras. Oh, I think I had a flipper. Yep, I did. Right there. Okay, here we go. Four Libras. I got quite a few. I always put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the center card in the first part of the reading. And here we go. This is your overall energy, the Page of Pentacles. So we will get to that. Or Libras. So we have some cards left over for the second part of the reading. Right there. Okay, Libras. Um, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. You can take from the reading what does resonate. Uh, or think about a private reading. I do private readings. If you just shoot me an email, I can do you a private reading. And here we go. Page of Pentacles surrounds the entire reading. This is like the beginnings of a relationship or the beginnings of wanting something 
uh, a commitment, security, or stability, maybe in a relationship, you have a pentacle, and you're thinking, uh, you're starting to think about your future, and it's probably, yes, it is with somebody here, I can see. So it feels like the beginnings of a relationship that may uh, be, uh, that may end up being a committed uh, future relationship here for you. I have the Ten of Swords in your highest energy. You know, the end of any pain and suffering that you've been going through is going away. Yay! This is the card I call the end. And so truth and clarity is what it's all about. And this is what you need in order to move forward. So I feel like you have a pentacle. I feel like, um, you know, the end of your pain and suffering, a lot that you have been through. You've been through a lot. And now you're getting back to this point where you're thinking about how to move forward in your future. What is best for you? I have the Page of Swords next to the Ten of Swords and right above the Page of Pentacles. Well, you got your sword out. Good. You should have your sword out. Um, just being cautious. You're not swinging the sword all over the place, but um, you are looking for truth. You all are looking for clarity and moving forward in your life. So I think you're coming out of this Ten of Swords energy. Uh, something was very hurtful for you in the past, and it's finally resolving itself. And now it's like you're in the beginnings of looking for another relationship. You have this pentacle. You have your sword out. You're trying to be careful. I also have the Nine of Wands. Um, you are carrying a huge burden here. So with the Ten of Swords, you're putting down the burden too, okay? So the burden, um, you may have had um, a lot of different relationships. You may have had um, a lot of fresh starts and new beginnings that just didn't pan out, okay? And you tried. It looks like you were trying, but um, it just didn't pan out because you're right back to like square one and you're starting to look for another fresh start and new beginning here. I have the Two of Cups under this Ten of Swords and next to the Page of Pentacles. Well, the Two of Cups, this is a soulmate relationship. Friends first, then lovers. So um, I feel like there's somebody coming in. I think that you will be friends first, then lovers. I think, um, you know, these cups are full of love. I don't think it's friends with benefits because I see some other cards here. I think this is an actual friends first, then lovers, and they are a soulmate. So you're, you're being cautious and moving forward with this person. I have the Three of Swords next to the Page of Pentacles and under the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Nine of Wands, you know, you've had your heart broke. Um, swords of Truth and Clarity, you, you see the truth and clarity about what's happened. And I think you're just doing everything in your power to not put yourself in a position to have another broken heart. And that's all it's about. So um, it looks like there is someone coming into your life. Uh, it looks like they are a soulmate. And it also looks like there will be love there. And it's you're just going to take your time to be um, sure about it before moving too fast forward. I have the Ten of Cups under the Two of Cups. This is why I say that. Okay. This is union between two people. It's very family-oriented. There's Ten Cups of Love, an equal exchange of love, sunshine, rainbows. There are, this is union, like I said, two people, very family-oriented. There's a lot of love in this card. There's a lot of... Um, union, you know, and stability in that card, right under the Two of Cups. I think this relationship here is going to turn into this relationship here. I have the Two of Swords next to the Ten of Cups and under the Page of Pentacles. You're kind of blocking. The moon is shining the light, trying to show you the path forward. But your heart is still guarded. you got the Three of Swords here. And you have your swords up. You really are in self-protection. I don't think you're ready to move forward yet. I don't think you're ready to see the moon's path that is shining in the darkness for you yet. 
Um, you're probably just following the guidance of temperance here. Temperance is right next to the Two of Swords and under the Three of Swords. So temperance is probably trying to help you just to be patient. It's uh, their, That's their job. This is, you know, being tempered, to be grounded, and to be balanced as all this unfolds. Wow. Okay, let's see what else. Libras. See what else there is here for you for April. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Okay, we need two more cards for Libra, please, for April. You, there they are right there. They just came out like that, and that's how they go down. Okay. So I have the Eight of Swords right next to the Nine of Wands. Uh, you, I think you stayed in, I think that's part of your heartbreak. You stayed in a relationship for too long. You weren't dealing with the red flags. You were hoping the red flags would just go away. Uh, you have a blindfold on. You have your fist on your chin. When you could be taking off the blindfold and looking around you at all the truth and all the clarity. I feel like you stayed in a relationship longer than you should have. Um, just in hopes, you know, that it would work out. And it, and it did. It did hurt you. It did break your heart. And I think more than once, I have the Ace of Swords next to the Eight of Swords. It's all about the swords. It's all about the truth. It's all about the clarity. And so in knowing truth and clarity, that just lightens everything up. It just paves the road forward for you. So the, so the swords are very important in this reading. The end of the pain here, you have your sword out here and being cautious. You have your swords up here to protect your heart in order. And temperance, your guardian angels and spirit guides are trying to help you be that way, you know. So um, the ace of swords is very important. All these swords that you were ignoring before in a past relationship uh, were very important. But, you know, as it is, you can only ignore the swords so long. And then I have the Six of Swords next to the Ace of Swords. So the Six of Swords says, you know, pick up all those swords of truth and clarity. And that's what you're doing here at the Page of Swords. Pick them up because the more that you pick up, the, the more you can get away from dark skies, dark waters, towards a very bright, fresh start and new beginning. A lovely place in your life. You know, that's exactly what the Ace of Swords, all that truth and clarity is what they're trying to do, is help you get there. I have the Sun under the Eight of Swords and next to the Three of Swords. Uh, this can be a card for Leo, but um, the Sun, oh my gosh. Um, this is all about fresh starts, new beginnings with lots of love and lots of joy. So you're, you're coming out of this. It's very obvious that you're coming out of the Eight of Swords, you're coming out of the Three of Swords energy. Something's changing in your life. We've got the Two of Cups over here. We've got the Ten of Cups under the Two of Cups. Temperance is just saying, just move forward cautiously. I have the Seven of Pentacles under the Ace of Swords and next to the Sun. So you've been waiting. You've been waiting and waiting for a committed, long-term, and grounded relationship. This bush, it like it, it buds, but it never bears fruit. So you're never picking any fruit off that bush. You're standing there with an empty basket. And this could be years, you know. Um, so the Seven of Pentacles is something that you're moving away from. It's because you've learned, you, you've got a lot of truth and clarity you're moving forward with, and there is a fresh start, new beginning coming in, and what's gonna happen is all this waiting, it's gonna pan out for you. I have the Queen of Pentacles. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. Male or female, all the cards are male or female. But what you're doing is you have this pentacle and you really cherish the groundedness, the stability that you've created for your own life, but you do want to share it. And it looks to me like you, you're going to have the opportunity to share it. I have the two of pentacles under the sun and next to temperance. So you go through this period of um, being 
trying to stay balanced. You know, Libras love to stay balanced. So you have two pentacles you're trying to stay balanced with. Um, it's, it's this fresh start, new beginning that comes in. I think it kind of throws you for a loop a little bit. And Temperance is saying, just take a deep breath, just be grounded, be stable, and um, be patient. And just let it unfold naturally, and you will be fine. The, the High Priestess is next to the Two of Pentacles and under the Seven of Pentacles. Your intuitions run very strong. There's the moon there, and it's enlightening you. It's saying, follow your, what, whatever, let your head, your heart, and your gut come together. And whatever they're telling you, listen, pay attention, uh, follow, uh, trust and believe in yourself and in your decisions. Uh, follow your intuition. This is going to be very, very helpful for you in moving forward. I have the Eight of Cups next to the High Priestess and under the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to let these old, this old love go. You need to um, sort of like um, try to move forward uh, and just leave the past experiences behind where, you know, love has fallen apart, ten of swords up here, the heartbreak here. Uh, and so the moon, it's, it's, it's guiding the light, it's shining a guiding light. For you in the darkness so that you can leave this old energy behind um, so that you can um, you know embrace this new fresh start new beginning with all this love and joy with a soulmate that's coming in wow like this reading libra it's very very helpful it's very informative very so keep being cautious i mean temperance wants you to be cautious uh, when this uh, soulmate comes in, be friends first. You know, get to know them. Uh, that's, I think, the best way for you at this juncture in your life. Don't trust too soon. You've got to trust yourself, too, in the decisions that you make. There's your card. There. There's your card. Okay, Libras. I had the three abundance pop out of that deck. So I'm going to read this to you. Your passions will lead you, will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. So you have a passion about something, go for it. Learn more about it. Focus on it. I like that. So don't ignore your own passions. Just don't ignore them. Just go for them. Okay? So Libra, this is your April reading. Thank you so much for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. I want to thank my guardian angels and my spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.